Hi guys, I want to give you a quick update before holidays on Clicker Heroes. Um, I have a new formulas in my spreadsheet, uh, but before we go there, uh, let's take a look at the current uh, transcension. And uh, I'm running a build that requires uh, less than 1900 uh, ancient souls currently. And with uh, only nine ascensions, I was able to gather uh, more than like more than double my ancient souls. So it's uh, pretty good. And uh, if we take a look again at uh, the ascensions, uh, you can see that uh, the progress uh, is uh, almost immediate, uh, very rapid and uh, it slows down at the end so uh, i guess that will be it for this transcension and if we take a look at transcensions uh, you can see that uh, this one is particular uh, really uh, proficient so we we gathered uh, more than twice as much exponents as previously and uh, let's see why that happened. So this is uh, the Google document I shared uh, some time ago, and I've been updating it uh, pretty frequently. So this is the most recent version. If you want to use it for your own gameplay, just uh, make a copy of the document and uh, then you can edit the gray cells and everything else will be computed automatically. Um, I'm recommending the active build. So even if you are idle uh, player, like you like to let the game run itself, uh, it's better to save rubies for auto clicker. And then if you set up your auto clickers, it's basically idle game, but uh, you're playing with the uh, clicks instead of uh, no clicks. And um, so the, the main change to formulas that I've made was uh, to uh, value more the uh, increase in uh, primar, primal hero souls gathered. Uh, previously, it was um, only uh, um, or on the, on the same level as a DPS increase, and then I realized that um, for each uh, hero soul, uh, you can invest into ancients, and it's uh, more comparable to the ancient cost reduction. Uh, uh, so these two formulas look really uh, similar and there is the power, sixth power uh, used here, uh, which is explained in the uh, uh, additional uh, sheets. So for example, if we take a look at the uh, active build, there is uh, like uh, four uh, ancients that you can invest uh, related to the active clicking. Three of them have uh, linear cost formulas uh, and uh, there are some general ancients. So it's like seven dimensions of growth. For idle build, it's only six dimensions. So um, we, we could use uh, in our formula like six or seven or six and a half power to uh, account for all the benefits that every uh, percentage increase gives us. And um, uh, again, reminding how to use this document, uh, you just try to make sure uh, the numbers, all these numbers uh, in pink cells are close to each other. So if I had like 12 here, it's obvious that uh, this one gives the most benefit. So I would invest uh, in few levels here until the number drops to uh, similar as in other cells. And um, I think I'll make one more change. Uh, I've been uh, 
valuing a little bit uh, the Orphalos to um, extend the boss timers, but um, uh, now I think it's uh, not even worth investing any point in it. So I I'll be uh, testing the zero points in on for Orphalos in next uh, uh, transcension and we'll see how it goes. Uh, other than that, uh, I think the new formulas looks good. And um, I want to also share with you the uh, data I've been gathering for uh, the comparison between active and idle builds. Uh, so it, it's still missing the current transcension. I'll update it soon. And uh, the link will be in the video description to this document, by the way. So uh, when I uh, did the uh, hybrid build and I spent exactly the same amount of uh, gold uh, on the uh, ancients that uh, are for the idle build and for the active build, and then I compared how much DPS I can do using either method. Uh, it turned out that the higher level I reach, uh, the more uh, DPS and gold gathered difference is between the active and idle builds. Uh, so even if we account for the uh, Zill outsider bonus, uh, there uh is like an unspoken difference between these two so uh you will reach thousands or more zones uh using active build uh, than using the idle um and the the idle could be okay if you had like infinite money and infinite rubies and play it using time lapses. Uh, it would save you time uh, to uh, reach uh, or go through the first uh, few thousand zones uh, in, in a second. Uh, but other than that, uh, it, it looks like the active build is the way to go. And the reason for it is that uh, there is just one more uh, ancient to invest in. And this one additional dimension of growth, uh, scaling of the DPS, uh, is why you're able to reach higher zones. Um, okay, I guess uh, this... Oh, uh, one more thing. So uh, you probably heard the announcement or seen the ad for the Clicker Heroes too. Uh, let me know if you're excited as I am about this. Uh, I instantly purchased and uh, I hope it will turn out to be as good as this one. So other than that, uh, happy holidays and we'll see in the next video.